We often think of Earth as a solid, unchanging sphere, its continents and oceans fixed in their positions. But what if our planet is actually growing, expanding like a balloon over millions of years? This is the intriguing concept behind the expanding Earth hypothesis. In this video, we'll delve into the history and evidence surrounding the expanding Earth hypothesis, exploring its origins, its proponents, and the scientific arguments for and against it. We'll examine how this hypothesis attempts to explain the movement of continents, the formation of ocean basins, and other geological phenomenon through the gradual expansion of Earth's size. The expanding Earth hypothesis, while ultimately rejected by mainstream science, has taken various forms throughout history each with its own unique set of assumptions and explanations. One version of the hypothesis suggests that the Earth's volume has been increasing over time, while its mass has remained constant. This implies that the Earth's density has been decreasing, a notion that challenges our understanding of the planet's composition and internal structure. Charles Darwin, the renowned naturalist, even briefly entertained the idea of an expanding Earth during his voyage on the HMS Beagle in the 1830s. He observed raised beaches and stepped plains in Patagonia, which suggested to him that the Earth's crust had undergone uplift on a continental scale. Darwin hypothesized that this uplift might be caused by the expansion of the Earth's interior, pushing the continents outwards. However, he later abandoned this idea in favor of the theory that the ocean floor subsided as mountains rose, a concept that foreshadowed the later development of plate tectonics. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Roberto Manovani, an Italian geologist proposed a more detailed hypothesis of Earth's expansion and continental drift. He envisioned a smaller Earth, initially covered by a single supercontinent. Volcanic activity, driven by thermal expansion, then fractured this landmass into smaller continents, which drifted apart as the Earth continued to expand. While Alfred Wegener, the father of continental drift theory, acknowledged some similarities between his own ideas and Manavani's hypothesis, he did not embrace the concept of Earth's expansion as the driving force behind the continental movement. Another variation on the expanding Earth hypothesis is the theory of thermal cycles, proposed by Irish physicist John Jolly and British geologist Arthur Holmes. They suggested that the Earth undergoes cycles of expansion and contraction driven by the heat generated from radioactive decay within the planet's interior. According to their hypothesis, the Earth expands as heat accumulates, causing cracks and fissures in its crust. These cracks are then filled with magma, which solidifies as Earth cools, causing it to contract. This cyclical process, they argued, could explain the movement of continents and the formation of various geological features. Another variation of the expanding Earth hypothesis proposed that the Earth's mass has been increasing over time, leading to its expansion. This idea, while less common than the constant mass expansion hypothesis, has also been explored by various thinkers and scientists. In the late 19th century, Ivan Yurkovsky, a Russian civil engineer, suggested that the Earth absorbs a hypothetical substance called aether and transforms it into new chemical elements, causing the planet to expand. This idea was linked to his mechanical explanation of gravitation, which has since been superseded by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Similar ideas were proposed by Ott Hilgenberg and Nikola Tesla in the early 20th century. They both believed that the absorption and transformation of aether energy into matter could explain the Earth's expansion. One of the most prominent advocates for the expanding Earth hypothesis was Samuel Warren Carey, an Australian geologist. Initially a supporter of continental drift, Carey became a staunch proponent of Earth's expansion in the 1950s, before the theory of plate tectonics gained widespread acceptance. Carey argued that the amount of new crust being created at mid-ocean ridges, where tectonic plates move apart, could not be balanced by the subduction of old crust back into the Earth's mantle. He also pointed to various geological paradoxes that he believed could be only explained by an expanding Earth. Carey's ideas, while controversial, influenced a number of geologists and continue to be discussed in some circles today. However, his hypothesis lacks a clear scientific mechanism to explain the addition of new mass to Earth.
While the Earth does gain mass through the accumulation of space dust and meteoroids, this accretion is far too small to account for the significant increase in mass required by the expanding Earth hypothesis. Another intriguing variation of the expanding Earth hypothesis involves the idea of a decreasing gravitational constant. This fundamental constant of nature, denoted by the letter G, determines the strength of the gravitational force between objects. In 1938, Paul Dirac, a renowned physicist, proposed the hypothesis that the gravitational constant might not be truly constant, but rather decreasing over time. This idea, while controversial, sparked further exploration in the potential consequences of a changing gravitational force. In 1964, German physicist Pascal Jordan, building upon Dirac's hypothesis, suggested that a decreasing gravitational constant could lead to the expansion of planets and even the universe itself. This is because a weaker gravitational force would reduce the inward pull on a planet's matter, allowing it to expand outwards. Jordan's hypothesis, while considered a viable possibility within the framework of physics, has faced challenges from experimental measurements. Precise measurements of the gravitational constant have shown that its variation over time, if it exists at all, is extremely small, far below the level required to explain the Earth's expansion. While most versions of the expanding Earth hypothesis focus on the expansion itself, J. Marvin Herndon proposed a more radical idea, that the Earth was once a giant gas giant like Jupiter, and that its expansion is a consequence of losing its massive atmosphere. This hypothesis, while unconventional, offers a unique perspective on the Earth's formation and evolution. Herndon suggested that during the early stages of our solar system, when the Sun was a young and volatile star, the intense radiation and solar winds stripped away the thick atmosphere of the gas giant that would eventually become Earth. This atmospheric loss, according to Herndon, triggered a process of decompression, where the Earth's interior expanded as the pressure from the overlying atmosphere decreased. This expansion, he argues, is the driving force behind plate tectonics and other geological processes that have shaped the Earth's surface. Herndon's theory, known as whole Earth decompression dynamics, challenges the conventional understanding of plate tectonics, which is based on the idea of convection currents in the Earth's mantle driving the movement of tectonic plates. He argues that mantle convection is physically impossible and that the Earth's expansion is the primary cause of geological activity. This hypothesis also incorporates the influence of solar wind and geomatic storms on the Earth's magnetic field, suggesting that these events can trigger reversals in the magnetic field's polarity. While the expanding Earth hypothesis once held a certain allure, it has been largely rejected by the scientific community due to a lack of supporting evidence and the overwhelming success of plate tectonics in explaining the Earth's geological features. One of the main criticisms of the expanding Earth hypothesis is that it lacks plausible and verifiable mechanisms to explain how the Earth could be expanding. While various theories have been proposed, none have stood up to scientific scrutiny or provided a convincing explanation for the alleged expansion. In the 1960s, the theory of plate tectonics revolutionized our understanding of the Earth's dynamics. This theory, based on the idea that the Earth's outer layer is composed of moving plates, has successfully explained a wide range of geological phenomena, from the formation of mountain ranges and ocean basins to the distribution of earthquakes and volcanoes. The evidence for plate tectonics is overwhelming, and it has become the cornerstone of modern geology. In contrast, the expanding Earth hypothesis struggles to account for many of these geological features, and its explanations are often contradicted by the evidence. One being geodetic measurements. Modern high-precision geodetic techniques which use satellites and ground-based instruments to measure the Earth's shape and size, have shown no evidence of significant expansion, as well as tectonic plate motions. The observed movements of tectonic plates, measured through various geological and geophysical methods, are consistent with the theory of plate tectonics, not with an expanding Earth. And subduction zones. The existence of subduction zones, where one tectonic plate slides beneath another, provides a mechanism for the Earth's crust to be recycled back into the mantle, balancing the creation of new crust at mid-ocean ridges. This process is incompatible with an expanding Earth. And paleomagnetic data. The study of Earth's ancient magnetic field, preserved in rocks, has allowed scientists to estimate the planet's radius in the past. These estimates show no significant change in Earth's size over hundreds of millions of years. And finally, Earth's moment of inertia. A measure of its resistance to changes in rotation also provides evidence against significant expansion. 
Calculations based on data from the Paleozoic era suggest that the Earth's radius has remained relatively constant for at least 620 million years. These lines of evidence, along with the lack of plausible mechanisms and the success of plate tectonics in explaining geological phenomenon, have led the scientific community to reject the expanding Earth hypothesis. While it remains an interesting historical footnote in the development of geological thought, it has been superseded by a more robust and evidence-based theory that better explains the Earth's dynamic history. The expanding Earth hypothesis serves as a reminder of the importance of critical thinking and the need to continually challenge and refine our scientific theories in light of new evidence and discoveries. While it may not have provided the ultimate explanation for the Earth's geological features, it has contributed to a deeper and more nuanced understanding of our planet's dynamic nature. If this exploration has piqued your interest, I encourage you to delve deeper into the fascinating world of geology and explore the evidence for and against the expanding Earth hypothesis. Consider the alternative explanations offered by plate tectonics and reflect on the ways in which scientific understanding evolves and adapts in the face of new discoveries. And who knows, perhaps the next big discovery in geology will be made by someone watching this video right now. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.